Indian troops continued their violent cordon and search operations in house raids in different areas of Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir, subjecting the people to harassment even the holy month of Ramadan. Indian troops and paramilitary personnel carried out the military operations and house raids in different areas of Srinagar, Gandharbal, Badgam, Kupwara, Baramula, Bandipura, Islamabad, Shopiya, Kulgam, Pulwama, Doda, Rajori, Punch, Kashtwar and other districts of the territory and arrested dozens of the people. The residents of many areas told the media that the forces personnel barge into their houses during Aftar and Sehri times, abuse and intimidate the inmates and vandalize the household goal. India's notorious National Investigation Agency, NIA, along with paramilitary personnel also conducted house raids and searches at different places in the Kashmir Valley and seized mobiles, laptops, computers and other belongings of the people. On the other hand, an Indian soldier committed suicide by shooting himself with his service rifle at an army camp in Rangrat area of Srinagar last night. This incident raised the number of such deaths among Indian troops and police personnel in the occupied territory to 539 since January 2007. A constable of Indian Central Reserve Police Force was found dead under mysterious circumstances when he was on duty at Deputy Commissioner's office in Pulwama. He too is believed to have committed suicide but officials didn't confirm it. Meanwhile, all parties' Hurriyat Conference leaders, including Bashir Ahmed Butt and Dr. Musseb Ahmed, have congratulated Mohammad Shehbaz Sharif on assuming the office of the Prime Minister of Pakistan. They hope that he will effectively raise the Kashmir dispute at an international forum. Speakers at a function organized by United Peace Alliance, an umbrella of body of political, social and religious organizations in Jammu deplored that the victimization of Muslims and other minorities in India at the hands of Hindutva goons had increased since the faces Narendra Modi became the Prime Minister of the country. The speakers included all parties Hurriyat Conference leader Mir Shahid Salim. Indian police arrested two Muslim boys in Bareilly city of the Uttar Pradesh state for listening to Pakistani songs at their shop. The police arrested the youth after the complaint was lodged against them by the local resident. A 72-year-old Indian origin doctor, Krishna Singh, was found guilty of sex offences against 48 female patients over 35 years practicing in Scotland. Singh, a general practitioner, was charged during a trial at a high court in Glasgow. All minorities in India, including Sikhs, are facing brutalities at the hands of extremist Hindus led by Bharatiya Janata Party and RSS. Kashmir Media Service in a report released on the 553rd birth anniversary of Baba Guru Nanak, founder of Sikhism today said that the attacks and the hate speech incidents against minorities including Sikhs by the member of Hindu majority are taking place on daily basis in India under fascist Modi as Hindutva forces under the state patronage are preaching dominance of Hindu religion over all other faiths.